Hey cuties, I am Lanikia and you are watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is General Hospital Edition. Today is Friday, yeah, August the 25th, 2023 on a scale of 1 to 10. Mm, I'm going to give this one, I'm not going to lie, I was looking at the clock like when, when is this going off? I don't know if it's because it's Friday or what, but it felt like this was a long one today. All right, let's get into it. We start off with Let's go to Tracy and Finn. Um, so we see Tracy with Finn. Uh, they're playing backgammon. Y'all, I love backgammon. I love to play that. But anyways, we see them um, playing with um, playing the game with each other. And she has kept score. So she asks, she tells him she had dinner with his dad, but it seems like something was wrong. He tells her, um, let's take that line of question off the table because he doesn't want to have to lie to her. And she said, he asked her about, brooklyn and that it seems his dad believes that or chase believes that she's using brooklyn for something um at deception and she tells him let's take that line of question off the table because she doesn't want to lie to him so then he says well let's talk about luke and this is the second time i said what's going on here but i'm not gonna think about it too much because this is general hospital so he says um how are you and she says she sometimes she forgets she forgets that he's not here and she just she just misses him and it hasn't been the same without him and they're starting to have a warm moment and baby brooklyn came in found out what tracy did and whoever she was talking to on the phone and said that's it she threw that game on the floor and finished said i was winning <laughs> he said but clearly y'all need to talk about something so let me get on up out of here so Tracy said, I'm sorry for my granddaughter's ill manners. Tra Brooklyn, what is wrong with you? What is it, Mimi? And she says, um, you, how could you with deception? Those are people's careers. Those are people's lives. And you ruined it. Because y'all know Maxie's trying to buy Lulu's house. And she said, those are people's careers and lives. And you're ruining it. What, what is wrong with you? How could you do that? How could you bring this lawsuit? And she said, because I did steal it. And she said, from who? You? And she said, no. And she said, well, what is it? She said, the way you're doing it, the deception is going to crumble. And somebody else is going to be able to come in and swoop it up. And Tracy said, that's the plan. And Brooklyn said, man, this is why daddy, that's why he don't want to be Ned. He want to be Eddie Main, because who would want to be your son? And she leaves, because I'm not going to hold you long on this mess. It wasn't that great. I'm sorry. Just being honest, it wasn't that detailed for me. I, I just don't have an interest in it. I just don't have an interest in it because I don't know enough about what's going on. Let's move on. So then we see what do we go? So then we see uh Willow talks to Elizabeth. So while Willow is talking to um Elizabeth, uh she tells her she's ready to get back to work. I said, Well, wait a minute, girl, because I thought you had told Michael you weren't coming back to work. Is there gonna y'all gonna have some friction between Willow? Uh oh, wait a minute. Listen, is there gonna be friction between Willow and Michael? Because y'all know he don't want her going back to work, right? That he they've mentioned that twice. And um, anyways, let's keep talk going. Let's go with what we've seen, and then we can we can talk later. So Willow says she doesn't. Um, she's ready to go back to work. Elizabeth says I'm ready to have you, but um, you got to be clear by your doctor. And she said, Well, I'm going to see Doctor Randolph now to see when I can get back to work. And she said, okay, cool. So then we see um, Christina comes up on Willow because Christina had been, she was at the Metro Court going to the pool area when she sees Molly, the surrogate, and Alexis. And I said, Christina, please, please. And she said, no, 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 girl, I'm not going to make a scene. I'm going to leave. I said, thank you because I'll I be having to offend you because I like you playing Christina. It, it was a good um, choice. Not at Molly, but anyways. Um, so she says, no, no, I'm gonna leave. So she goes to the hospital. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. So she um she runs into Willow at the hospital and she starts telling Willow all about everything that she's been going through and what's going on and about how you know she says i know i can trust you with this and she explains about molly and um tj and and their right route to um having a child and she says i thought my offering to give her a child would be seen as like um unselfish and it's a, a selfless gift she said but she just sees it as me 
um, it, it being a selfish of me and I'm putting it, rubbing it in her face that I can have a child and she can't. And that is not how I meant for it to come across. She said, that's not how I meant for it to come across. So I don't know what to do. And, and so Willow just tells her, you know, once the child come by, bye bye. She says, tells her once the child comes, they won't see she, you'll just be aunt, um, aunt Christina and Molly will be the mom and y'all won't see it like this at all. And she says, yeah, but it like Christina is hurt by it. Cause she feels like Molly is having all these milestones and celebrating and doing all this. And she's not invol involving her in it. Cause she just keeps saying, Oh, Christina's so selfish. She's making it all about her. And, and this and that, I said, girl, I don't care enough about this story to keep going. Let's move on. Um, so then we see, uh, so speaking of Alexis and Molly, we see Alexis and Molly. They're at the uh, Metro court and they're waiting on the surrogate Andrea to come through. And so when Andrea comes through, so when she comes, um, Alexis did see Christina when she left. So, of course, that is cause for concern for Alexis. And then Andrea's saying all of the right things. And, y'all, it's just boring. You cannot bring in Molly, who is a boring character right now. Like, this is boring. And then Alexis, who... Now, normally, I do like Alexis storylines. I know how people feel about her. Um, as a person like Nancy, but when she has, she's strong enough out of a, she's a strong enough actress to hold a storyline all by herself, but you can't bring in a, someone else who's just, who's sweet because where like the conflict between Molly and Christina is not good enough to want to make me hold, to hold my attention with this storyline. What's about to happen? Like, cause that what's about to happen with this? Because if there's nothing about to happen, then I, I really don't want to see it. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to see it. Let's move on. So um, then we see, then we go over here to Sonny and Nina. Oh, I'm sorry. Gregory and Elizabeth. Before we go to that, let's go to Gregory and Elizabeth, which um, Gregory does let Elizabeth know that he has ALS and, you know, he wants her to help with Finn because he's going to, Finn is going to see him as his dad and he's going to be his son and a doctor and he just wants him as a son, not a doctor. And plus Finn is going to need a lot of help, um, especially with Chase because he, Chase, he says Chase is the baby of the family. So Finn is going to feel the need to be strong for Chase um, and everything. And he just wants to know that Elizabeth will give the support. And of course she said she will. And that's it. I'm not going to hold you long on that. Am I holding you long on anything today? No, not really. Um, so then we go over here to Sonny and Nina. Um, they kill me when they act together. Cause they, they be giggling for real. Um, he gives her a, a cute little necklace and everything, but she tells him she wants to know more information about what's going on with Ava. He tells her there's certain part of his businesses that he can't tell her about. She says she knows, but she wants to be informed. I said, Nina, he's not going to tell you. Let it go. Like You're going to have to learn to let this go or leave this man alone because this is what it is. You already know what it is. He's not telling you, she said, but you could tell Ava. I said, if you would put two, two together, the same way you was running around thinking somebody was having an affair, you would realize that um, Ava has got to have something to do with Ava. Come on now. But Nina is just like, I just want to know what's going on. And Sonny, Sonny not going to tell you. But then they started talking about their wedding, right? And I said, I thought y'all, Nina was talking about a February wedding. Well, then she did say again, that she wants a winter wedding and i was like i like the colors and everything you're saying okay she says sunny in a burgundy suit she wants to wear an off-white gown she wants the um the invitations to be emerald and ivory or emerald, something like that anyways i was like that's cute and she wants a winter wedding and plus it gives willow time for her to try there to try to work on their relationship and the willow to want to be at the wedding she said but well, how would you feel like with michael because you know Michael might feel away since he marrying Nina and not his mama. And he says, you know, six months ago, I wouldn't have even thought that Michael would be a possibility of Michael coming to the wedding. But if he's open to it, I would love to have him there. But he's not going to pressure him or anything. I said, cool, 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 cool. So that's pretty much it with them, y'all. We're going to have a winter wedding. I said, oh, we're about to do Portia and Curtis again, where uh, another wedding happens and some secrets blow up. 
bet <laughs> i'm all here for it so um then we see uh he gets a phone call from brick and of course you know he has to leave and nina's just like she girl that's the part of his life uh you got to take this or leave it and you know you my girl but take it or leave it girl um so then we move on and see sam with cody and sam says well, how do you expect me to help you he said i want you to be my power of attorney and get me committed because she said first of all i'm not family he said be my power of attorney she said i'm gonna i'm gonna be your power of attorney and then the next day i'm gonna put you in um fern clift and he said she said what will people think he said i don't care i just want to be in there with sasha and then he breaks it down to her again about why he feels like sasha is being drugged he said sasha was doing just fine now gladys all of a sudden what has this gambling debt and he said and gamblers are liars and she's an addict and addicts are liars and everything so she's lying about everything so yes uh, he he's concerned about Sasha and he feels like nobody's taking this seriously. So he says, commit me, Sam. And he said, if it was your sister or if it was you or whatever, you would want people to do everything they could do. Sasha needs help and we need to help her. So Sam finally says, all right, fine. I'll have you committed. And that's it, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't into General Hospital today, but I would be into some storylines if they worked out the way I see them. Like, Michael doesn't want Willow to go back to work. Maybe something happens. There's some friction or something. TJ and his surrogate and Molly, maybe something happens. And then we do get the TJ and Molly romance. <laughs> These characters are boring. Y'all need to spice them up a little bit. Y'all need to spice. I know we're always talking. Well, I'm always talking about, can't we just have one couple that's happy? But I mean a couple that's interesting, not a boring one. But anyways, it is the weekend. Um, y'all be safe, be blessed, stay cool, stay hydrated. And I will see you on Monday for all new episodes of what happened on the soaps general hospital edition. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.